sold up in houses, people are trying and experimenting everything digitally. Some of those who are investors have found refuge in virtual currencies, and the lockdown has pushed up trading volumes in popular cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. A marketplace for Bitcoin and other currencies, Paxful, reported a whooping 883% growth in crypto trading between January to May 2020 from around $2 million to $22 million. Wazir, a Mumbai based crypto exchange, grew 400% in March and 270% in April 2020 on a month on month basis. Crypto exchanges got a second wind after the Supreme Court on March 4th struck down the virtual ban on trading announced by the Reserve Bank of India in April 2018. The RBI had prohibited banks and financial institutions from providing services supporting digital currencies like Bitcoin after a string of frauds were unearthed post 2016 demonetization. Soon after, cryptocurrency exchanges filed a lawsuit in the Supreme Court and won the case in March this year. Even after the ban has been scrapped, large banks have not supported crypto trading completely. But in a blow to estimated 1.7 million Indian digital traders, the government is planning to bring in a law to ban trading in cryptocurrencies. The Indian traders were already hurting due to the lack of regulations in the sector as they waited for clarity from the government and the RBI. But for a change, the industry was flourishing during the lockdown. Meanwhile, the government has been holding consultations with the law ministry, Ministry of Information and Technology and the RBI for a framework that will end trading in cryptocurrency in India as the sources. The bill is expected to be discussed shortly by the federal cabinet before it is sent to the parliament. For long, the RBI and the center have emphasized that cryptocurrencies are not legal tender. In 2017, the government had set up a panel led by the then finance secretary Subhash Garg to study the ecosystem of cryptocurrencies. The panel proposed a ban on all forms of private virtual currencies in its report. However, it also suggested to look at the possibility of an official virtual currency. Insiders expect that the government might choose to encourage the use of blockchain but is not keen on allowing cryptocurrency trading. But what's the difference? Blockchain is the technology that supports cryptocurrencies. The technology can enable fund transfers, settling trades, voting, land records, pharmaceutical supply chain or records of educational certificates, insurance and many other functions without the need for a central authority. Cryptocurrency on the other hand is a medium of exchange such as the Indian rupee but it is digital with no physical form. It has no intrinsic value and is not governed by the RBI. Some industry experts feel that the government is losing revenue by not regulating the sector as only some payment gateways and mid-sized banks are working with cryptocurrencies. For example, a clear like Ripple which offers international remittance through RippleNet in partnership with Indian banks. It has not launched its liquidity product in India because of regulatory challenges. India can probably learn a lesson from Singapore and South Korea, countries that regulate crypto trades. China has slashed the ban to trade in Bitcoin too. The need of the hour as for the industry is oversight and guidance to counter concerns of money laundering and illegal activity and not an umbrella ban.